leads us right into our next story that when you find a drug that treats one thing, it helps to treat other things. And autism has been super important in, in helping in the development. Autism research has helped in the development of drugs to help all kinds of things, including helping COVID. Uh, but now we are on the receiving end of uh, other research. That there is a, a rare drug right now that they're saying was not invented to help with autism. It was invented to help a very rare um, I don't, syndrome. I don't know. It's called ADNP syndrome, Shannon. A rare genetic I, I, mutation. I didn't know what the word was. A syndrome. Yeah, a, there we go. It's ADNP, which is a rare genetic disease that causes symptoms such as intellectual disability and autism spectrum disorder. And now they're saying that the drug uh, that has been used to treat these symptoms has other applications and um, may be able to treat a variety of symptoms associated with autism, intellectual abilities, and Alzheimer's disease. Which, if you think about it, would be pretty amazing. Now, still uh, early days for this, um, but this comes to us, the study comes to us, we're, we're actually quoting an article in the Jerusalem Post, and it comes from Tel Aviv University. Uh, it's considered an orphan drug by the FDA, uh, meaning it's only used to treat that rare disease. Uh, and so as such, it is subject to separate regulations. I don't really even know all the pitfalls that come with that, but I can guarantee you it's going to take time for it to be looked at because of that. Um, but um, it's showing some promise. And, and that's a pretty exciting thing because in the past, Nancy, in all the years that we've been covering studies, have we ever, we've seen things that, that, showed promise for dealing with perseveration, anxiety, um, you know, all kinds of behavioral things. But I don't recall ever seeing a drug that said that it might help with intellectual disability. Do you? No, I, I don't recall seeing that either. Sir. It's a pretty lofty statement. Um, yeah. but, but if that were the case, uh, that would be a pretty exciting thing. Um, so we'll stay on this. We'll, we'll keep looking at this. And if you want to read more about it, go to the Jerusalem Post. And the name of the article is Drug for Rare Disease Could Treat Alzheimer's Autism, Study, Autism Symptoms Study. For those of you who have um, friends, relatives, loved ones who have Alzheimer's, um, you know, this could be very interesting for that as well. I, I always think about you, Nancy, um, that there was a moment when Reed was, uh, he spent a brief period of time in a memory center that mostly only had Alzheimer patients while he was, um, you know, being treated. Yeah. And he didn't have, he didn't have those symptoms, but he was being taken care of there. But I remember standing in the lobby with you and you said, is it just me or do, does it seem like Alzheimer's and autism have a lot more to do with each other than anybody is talking about? Right. And I, I, re I remember thinking it was a really brilliant statement. And, and I was like, wow, Nancy, I never thought about that before. Don't hear anybody else talking about that. But you were like, I'm spending time here and seeing uh -huh. those people and they remind me of our kids. Right. Seem to have some of the same symptoms, just opposite ends of the lifespan. Yeah. And it, it has stayed with me, Nancy, um, as, as a uh, particularly brilliant moment of yours So, <laughs> uh, at a very hard time. Can we right. also say right. that? Um, so, uh, you know, pretty impressive. Thanks for watching Autism Live. If you found anything helpful in this video, please give us a like. In fact, make sure that you smash that subscribe button on YouTube and give us a like on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram for important updates. And please download our free podcast wherever you get your podcasts. See you next time. Until then, give your kiddos a hug from me and one for you too. Bye-bye for now. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.